Hello, I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be a video on how to build an outswinging door barricade for your classroom door. The doors I have in my classroom are these thick fire resistant doors. They do, however, have a window on them through which a as intruder in the school could potentially either break out the window and reach through and open the door, or they could use some sort of device to break the lock and get through the door or break the window and reach through with some sort of device. With that, this is build number one and this is build number two. Build number one is a lot more universal because this bookshelf bracket is really wide so it fits under most doors. They're both very strong. They work just fine. I had the center for the football team try and pull the doors open while the doors were unlocked. And so it was just the strength of these devices keeping the door shut. He is this really little kid about 6'3", 260 pounds, never eaten a pizza in his life. He could never, he could not open the doors with that. Yes, they have been tested. But Barricade 1, a little more expensive to build. However, works more universal because the thickness of the door doesn't matter as much. Barricade number 2 works with this bracket. It's a lot tighter fit. However, it does still work. So we'll go ahead and get started. I understand a lot of you are going to be upset that people like me as a high school teacher are making videos like this. Um, however, in my view, you got to approach the world as it is, not as you believe it should be. With that, let's focus on what is within our control, which is our preparation, what we can do to make ourselves safe in the classroom, what we can do to keep our students as safe. Is this a 100% guarantee uh, safety thing? No, it is not. However, in my view, it should significantly up your odds of survival if you have an intruder in the school because it's going to make your door to your room a lot more secure. Politics and religion, I understand a lot of you guys are passionate about those things. However, again, those things are not within our direct control in approaching making a door barricade. So with that, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on what is within our direct control, which is our own preparation. So let's move forward. This video is based on, or excuse me, these builds are based on the original by Bruce Yeeney. I'm not sure where he's a teacher, but I'd recommend you go check out his video. He's got some really good points in there. Here's a direct link to it. One thing you need to know with these two builds, they don't work on all classroom doors. My school has different types of rooms. I'm in a science room, so I do have a space underneath my door that's around a half inch so I can fit the door barricade bracket under there. A math teacher in the school wanted me to make one for him. However, I couldn't make one that would fit because he has weather stripping and carpet where his door, um, the gap underneath it is just too close to the ground. So I wasn't able, unfortunately, to do that. So we have to come up for some with something else for that. Uh, we will go ahead and get started. In this video, I'm going to give you a lot of the information that I just gave you. However, I wanted to show you a demonstration of how to deploy these devices um, as well as the setup and parts that you need. I'll go ahead and start this video. I apologize for the audio. And yes, it is a video inside of a video. Just bear with me again. Our goal is for you all to be able to build your own. And yes, that's my kid in the background. This The goal is for you guys to be able to build your own door barricade device from parts that you can get at a big box store like Home Depot or Lowe's. So let's go ahead and get started with this video and then we'll move forward. All right, so this is a door barricade. I'm gonna show you how to make two different door barricades for your classroom door. Um, it works on any out swinging door. My doors um, in my classroom are these heavy duty, uh, I think they're fire resistant doors and they swing out. Uh, they have these big um, steel panels on the bottom. But either way, what you need to make this barricade, um, and my door is three feet across, I believe. Um, so you need a two by four by four board. All these parts can be bought at Home Depot, by the way. A two by four by four board. Um, this is a 10 inch, make sure you get a 10 inch, uh, three eighths carriage bolt. You need a three eighths wing nuts, um, a couple of three eighths washers. Um, let's see. Coming over here, this is a Simpson strong tie. I'll have a link to it. It's over in the roofing section. And then this is a 
six inch uh, shelving bracket from the shelf section. You just need one that's heavy duty enough that it cannot be bent. Um, and you also need a smaller 3 8 bolt, 3 8 hex nut, and your second washer will go here. Uh, so hopefully you guys can see how that is put together. The way this works, um, and again, you're going to have to have a 3 8 drill bit. Um, I put multiple holes in mine, but until I found one that worked the best. The way that you deploy this, say there is an intruder in the school, you open the door. And all I'm doing, I just put... I slid the hook under the door and then... Sorry, trying to do this with one hand is not too easy. Um, but as you can see, that hook, the bookshelf hook is on the outside of the door and it's not thin enough to where anybody could flip it over sideways. Um, and as you can see, the board is there. And then you don't have to run this down, but you can run it down as tight as you want to. And even if somebody manages to shoot through the window and try and hit and then try and reach through and open the door there's no way they can open that door i had the center for the football team try and pull the door open and he could not do it um so that is number one i'm sorry i'm trying to make this video as quick as i can this is the second one i will just call this the second door barricade this one's a lot more simple uh, it just fits a lot more tight around the door um, so as you guys can see this one works as well um, I'd recommend getting a 10 inch carriage bolt because this one I only got an 8 inch one and it makes the fit a lot tighter but um, let me pull this off okay sorry about that um so same thing, same measurements. Uh, this one is a two by two by four by four board, um, three eighths bolt, or excuse me, three eighths wing nut. And I should have a washer on there, but I need to get a 10 inch carriage bolt instead. And then all this is right here is a two by four door barricade bracket. Um, the only problem with this one, it still works, but you have to make sure that the carriage bolts you get the square end right there can squeeze into this little bracket um, otherwise sometimes it won't fit around the bottom of the door anyway i will hopefully make a better video for you guys for how to make this later you just need to drill a hole through there um, and it's cheap efficient and it works so you have any questions send me a pm and i'll put a parts list again this is door barricade two the other one was door barricade one all right These are the parts that you need for barricade one. The only thing you are going to need two of are two of these washers. You need two of these washers, one two by four by four board, uh, one three eighths hex bolt that I'd recommend getting one that's at least an inch and a half or two inches long, one three eighths 10 inch carriage bolt, one three eighths wing nut. 138 hex bolt, this Simpson strong tie. Those are the specific details for the one you need right there. This one, I believe, is in the roofing section. And then one of these six inch black steel brackets. I did make one mistake in the video. You need a half inch drill bit in order to drill through the hole on this uh, bookshelf bracket and also to put a hole in this board. You could potentially use a 3 8 but it's going to be a lot tighter. I'd recommend a half inch drill bit. And so that is what you need for build one. This is a really, really badly drawn schematic. If some of you out there who have some good art skills want to hook me up with a schematic, I can remake this video and put a better schematic in there. These are the parts for build number two. It is a lot more simple. However, again, just remember these brackets are a lot tighter on the door. If you cannot get these specific brackets, I like these because they allow a two by four to be put in them, which fits most doors. However, 
you could potentially just drill a hole into a bracket like this that you can get off of Amazon, one that a uh, 3 8 carriage bolt would fit through. I'd say get a half inch drill bit and a 3 8 carriage bolt, test it out, you should be fine. But what you need for this one is you need one of these 3 8 washers, a 3 8 wing nut, some of these door two by four door barricade brackets from Amazon. You're only gonna need one for the device, one two by four by four board and one 10 inch 3 8 carriage bolt. Again, some really badly drawn schematics. Some of you guys with some good art skills, hook me up. I will put, I will remake this video, put those schematics in there. These are the parts. I'll put these in the description, the parts for build one and build two. Just as Mr. Bruce Yeeney, or I think that was his name, sorry, talked about in his video, I'd recommend also putting these things in your room in case somebody does potentially get through the door, even just break the window out, have some rocks. If your district will allow you have some bear spray. I understand a lot of you guys have political and religious comments. However, again, in my view, those are not within my direct control. A lot of the things that you all talk about with that. Let's focus on what is within our direct control, which is building devices like these to up our odds of safety. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything you would like to discuss in the PM, we will talk about them one to one. All right, thank you. If you have some improvements on these devices, please let me know. Let's build as many of these as we can and up our odds of safety and preparation. Thank you, have a good day.